You're sitting on the toilet, scrolling through your phone, trying to procrastinate from going back to the office to do new work. So you're looking at new recipes on Pinterest, maybe pricing out the latest smartphone. But have you ever stopped and wondered where the metals used to make your smartphone come from? Or maybe the nutrients used to grow the food that you eat? I bet you never considered that you yourself might be flushing them down the toilet. The foods that we eat are filled with vitamins and minerals, which, if we break down to the most basic component, consists of metals, like cobalt and zinc, and nutrients like phosphorus. These elements are present in small amounts in your waste, but after treatment at wastewater treatment plants, they become concentrated in sewage sludge. But why should we care about elements concentrated in our waste when we can just go mine new raw materials? Well, looking at phosphorus alone, we currently get most of our elemental phosphorus as mined phosphate rock. And at the current rate that we are mining phosphate, reserves are expected to be depleted in the next few decades. And the same is true for several other elements as well. So how will we obtain these materials once the reserves are depleted? Well, remember all the nutrients and metals I mentioned you're flushing down the toilet? I'm working on a project that seeks to recover these from your poop. Now, I know what you're thinking. It sounds pretty gross that I'm trying to extract materials from your poop. What about pathogens, bacteria, other contaminants? But not to worry. My research group uses a flameless form of burning known as smoldering to treat the sewage sludge. Smoldering is a type of burning you've likely seen in the bottom of your fire pit after all the flames have died off. It's able to treat the sewage sludge, much like traditional flaming incineration, but costs less and uses significantly less energy than traditional treatment methods. And the ash that remains is less than 5% of the initial mass of the sewage sludge, which makes it much easier for me to recover the metals and nutrients. Additionally, smolding occurs at much lower temperatures than incineration, and just as water evaporates when it's heated, at certain temperatures, elements are lost as gases as well. But the lower temperatures associated with smoldering means that nearly all of the elements are retained within the ash, again, easing the recovery. My research has successfully shown that these metals and nutrients can be recovered in valuable quantities from smoldered sewage sludge ash. So, the next time you're sitting on the toilet, scrolling through your phone, you can appreciate that you're contributing the cobalt needed to make the lithium ion battery in your next smartphone so that you can take and post all of the photos of foods that you yourself help grow with phosphorus from your valuable poop. Thank you. <laughs>